Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are gonna learn about count non-zero function. This function simply returns the number of non-zero pixels inside an image and only thing you need to consider is you need to give single channel input image as input to this function like grayscale or binary kind of image should be input. And the logic of the function is very easy. Let's pass to the code part and see how it looks like. Okay. Uh, normally we are using lena image most of our functions but today for this function maybe we need to create our own function it could be better to understand and a simple image let's call the name and is equal to cvmat the zeros all of the elements first of all can be including only zeros which are blacks and uh, let's use this type rows three columns number three and the type is gonna be single channel unsigned chart type of image okay and uh, this is gonna be output when we see this output we are gonna only see an image three by three which are all of the elements is gonna be zero and to understand the functionality maybe directly we can call our function to this one before assigning some elements inside the image just call the function count non zero and the input and it's gonna return the number of non zero functions inside the image okay let's see that inside the console so we can see the result I think it's done now the expected result should be zero because inside this function there is no non zero element so it's returning as zero let's assign some uh, different index values inside this image let's assign for example the to the point of the first which is zero to zero column and row and this is gonna be can be let's say five and in the same way maybe we can assign to the first or kind of different okay 25 35 let's say okay now it's gonna return 3 because 3 of this image is already different pixel values than 0 okay as I said the understanding is very easy most of the cases you are gonna use this function for uh, binary images what I mean is let's try to understand it also this is our Lena image to uh, let's see the clearly how it looks like okay this one First of all, read my image in the grayscale image and after that apply a threshold, uh, convert our image to the binary image which is input image, output image and threshold value is gonna be let's say 150, double is 255 and after that the type is gonna be trash binary and it's gonna convert my input image to a totally binary image you see this image only including 255 and zeros and this kind of images maybe you need to uh, uh, you need to know for some uh, purposes you need to know the number of pixels uh, the the ratio of the number of non-zero pixels to all of the image for that case you are gonna need not you are gonna need to use this count non-zero function to be able to uh, get that result okay let's see for this one also maybe image okay this is gonna be a huge number yeah 81,000 pixel is non-zero which is white uh, as I said uh, I guess most of the cases this function is needed for binary images but for some purposes maybe you can use in different things for this video I just wanted to uh, show how this works. Okay, see you in the next videos.